Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Naveed and today we are using grids in maths. So, you can use them for other subjects but mainly when you learn them, you learn them in maths. So, first we have to make sure you know the grid. So, this line down here is the x axes. The, all the way across, that's the x-axis, and all the way down here is the y-axis. All the way down here is the y-axis. Okay, and these are the x-ones. So, what are these? Good. What are these? The x. Yeah. So, now, let's get on to the questions. Where is the green x? Now, first we have to locate the green X on our um, grid. So, um, the green X is here. Now, what we've got to look at now is the middle of the green X. It's right there. And we're going to go down the lines and across the lines till we get to two numbers. So, the two numbers that we've got is uh, a five and a three or three and a five now which way do we put them around the x axis always is the first number to be written down so a three would go here and uh what was it a five good and a five will go last so it's three five at the green one now next thing we're going to do is you're going to do basically the same question just with the blue x yeah and you're going to um tell me the coordinates down in the comments section below so if you want pause the video now and do it okay so hopefully hopefully you've done that now to reveal the answer your answer was six, eight, I believe. So six, eight. If you got that right, well done, good job. If you got that wrong, you can always get another time or you could get it on this next one. So what is at one, one? So we've got to find one and one, they're here, and, we're, and we've got to go up to the lines until they meet. There is a red X. So there we can answer red X. Now, you're going to do the same thing, just with a different question. So, you guys have got to find out what is at 7, 4. Now, I'll give you a little clue. You've got to look at the 7 and you've got to look at the 4 and you've got to um, join them. Now, I've just realised that 4 isn't correct. So, you're actually going to look at 7, 3. So, you're going to locate 7 and 3. Forget about the seven and four. For, um, remember seven and three. So what is at seven and three? Go work that out in the comment section below. Now, I'm not going to tell you the answer right now. We're going to get back to you in the comments, okay? So everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure you do that. 